cylinder number two is the issue. We've got, when it's running, fuel firing back out the inlet of the carb on that cylinder. And then we get to the, doing the compression tests. So every other cylinder is seven bar or above, but then we get to cylinder number two and it's only on four and a half bar. So we're 50 PSI pretty much down on that one cylinder. So in there is definitely a problem. It's either a cracked head, the egg gasket's on like backwards or upside down. Pfft, you know, it needs coming back apart, which is brilliant news. Hello everybody, hope you're all doing well. We're back from the NEC now. We've had a brilliant weekend. All the cars are packed away nicely, tucked up. Uh, it was great meeting a lot of you guys and there's nothing better than talking cars. It was uh, three days of talking. I think I lost my voice by Saturday, but uh, slowly coming back. So we're on to the Mark 1. We know we're down on compression on cylinder two and the rest of the cylinders aren't great to be fair. Should be a lot higher than what it is. So in this video, we're going to start ripping this engine apart. So let's get cracking. One cylinder head, got it off. I ain't looked at the pistons yet. I don't want to start crying. Um, all the valves look seated to be fair. They don't look too bad. I think what I'll do first is just get a bit of water, squirt it round these valves here. See if it starts hammering out the inlet ports. So where's my syringe? So cylinder one is all good. Let's have a go at cylinder two. Yeah, as soon as I'm putting water on the inlet valve, it's going past it, back out the port. So either that valve hasn't been lapped in properly or the seat's knackered. So uh, let's just test all the others just to be sure and then we'll whip out that valve. Well, I guess it's lucky I checked the rest, eh? So I flipped it upside down and I poured water in every one of the inlet ports and filled them dead to the brim. So cylinder three, even though it's leaking a little bit, stayed pretty full. Cylinder two and cylinder four is pretty much empty. Look at my poorly little head having a little cry. So me saying, well, I'll just whip them out. I think I'll flip it back over, check the exhaust ones as well. So there we go, that's all of them tested. So the only valves that are any good 
inlet on cylinder three and the exhaust on cylinder four. All the rest are leaking. So that will give us our low compression and I mean with number two especially, as soon as I'm pouring it in, it's pouring out past the valve. That's why compression is coming back up through that carb squirting fuel all over the inner wing so let's whip every valve out and seat them in properly okay so i got the valves out now bearing in mind this engine has run for a minute maybe two minutes maximum because i had to turn it off because of the fuel hammering down the inner wing do these i mean look at that do these look like valves that have been lapped in to an engine that has only run for a minute there is absolutely no way also apparently these exhaust valve seats were changed and they've got rust on them. You know what I mean? I just phoned the engine builders and they said 1 million percent that they lapped these valves in and changed those exhaust seats. And I said, what about the rust? There's rust on the seats. And he said, no, that's just from where it's been sat since he done it, which was December. So it's lucky we built this car quickly because Say if the lad I brought it off had, had carried on with it, he might have been two, three years down the line doing what we've done, put the engine in, it runs rough, and then they've got the excuse it's been sat, when really they haven't done the job in the first place. £1,900 bill. I think it's time for a trip to the engine builders. Well, that was the uh, biggest waste of time and fuel, I think, known to man. Went there, showed them. No, they reckon them guides are new and the valves were recently lapped in. But they did offer to relap me valves in, which I said no, of course. I mean, if their lapping job only lasts a minute, I'm not going to leave it with them to do it. So I'll show you how to lap one valve in. Most of you know anyway. The usual way is with one of these so you stick it on the valve and it's a bit of manual labor turning that valve forwards and backwards using the cutting compound but i ate these so they're going to go and instead got our speed lapper so what you do is you hold that that goes forwards and backwards you let it go let it go let it go and that turns your valve, creates a nice seat all around the valve, but obviously it's a lot quicker with that one. Here's your coarse and fine cutting compound. So start with the coarse, finish with the fine, and then I'll do an inlet valve and I'll put it next to one of their supposedly lapped in inlet valves. And we'll have a look at the difference, shall we? Right, let's get cracking. So lapping in the valves, the first thing we've got to do is clean up this dirty valve. So lightly and I mean very lightly give it a brush get all the carbon off get it nice and clean then using the coarse side of the grinding paste just apply a little bit to the tip of the valve and then you're ready to go and then it's just a case of using the lapping tool the speed lapper going for about five seconds maybe less then you wipe that off switch around to the fine side give that a go for about five seconds again wipe it off give it another go and then basically you just check the valve seat make sure there's a nice clean lapped ring around the seat and that's about it such an easy job and there we go each valve takes about five minutes eight valves it's not an hard job to do you know it boils my p that somebody says they're going to do something and they either do such a bad job that it's not even worth doing in the first place or they just don't do it at all. So if we compare a cleaned and lapped valve to a valve that has only done a minute's worth of work, there you go. Look at the difference there. 
Same on the inlet side, clean inlet valve, inlet valve that's only done a minute's worth of work. You can just see the difference. And then when you get into the cylinder head, it's definitely had an unleaded conversion because it's had these hardened barrel seats pressed in. But that's a nice cleaned lap seat compared to that, which was apparently done. So there we go, I've got two valves left, 10 minutes work, I'll bang it back together and then we'll pour some water in, give it a test and see if it's worked. Sound. Okay, that's the last one done. All the valves are in. Let's give it a test, shall we? Okay, so looking at the head, we've got a tiny, tiny drip coming past the inlet valve. So I'll probably just whip that out and have another go at lapping it in and testing it again. But hopefully everything is much better. I mean, it can't be any worse, can it? Let's face it. So what's the day today? It's Thursday today, Tuesday. I've got a rolling road day booked with the Escort. So hopefully get it back on, all will be good. And we'll have another video out next week. So that's all we got time for, for this video. So from me, I'll say see you again. Ta-da.